Hi there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Today I wanna to talk about how you can make your first $100,000 online building a business around affiliate marketing. Now I've been an affiliate marketer since 2002. A lot of people who watch this channel know that. If you're watching this video, you likely want to make money online and that is an excellent idea because of the amount of people that are spending money every single day online. And this number continues to drastically increase year after year in the hundreds of billions of dollars being spent. And anyone, whether or not you own a product or service, can make money from this revenue stream, okay? And we're gonna talk about that in this video. I'm gonna go step by step how to get started. I'm gonna focus on five main areas, and that is perspective and mindset, niche selection, monetization strategies, the building of a website and all of the tracking required, and then the traffic strategy. Now those are five main areas of focus. You need to build skills as you continue to build your business. Now let's first talk about perspective and mindset. Now if you're looking for an easy way to make money online, there isn't one, okay? That is just the answer. Do not start looking for methods and tactics out there. Everything is built around monetizing traffic. So you need to know how to monetize website traffic and that is what we need to do as an affiliate as a product owner as anyone who wants to make money from the internet okay so we're in the business of monetizing website traffic we are not in the business of affiliate marketing okay affiliate marketing is only a way to monetize traffic so we need to build out a way to monetize everyone that comes to a website and there are different strategies and different tactics to do that okay so get into the mindset of we are here to get traffic and we are here to turn that traffic into dollars, okay? So the next very important thing that you need to do is come up with some goals, okay? Now I've done a video, I'm gonna pop up the link here up in the corner. It's going to talk about SMART goals and how to, to define your goals before you even start building your own business online. Now remember, we're trying to build something here that is sellable, we're trying to build something that will continue to bring us revenue every single day. So in order to do that, we can't just focus on these little methods of getting traffic to a landing page. Now that works really well. Those are um, tactics that you can use to monetize website traffic, but that is not a business. By, by sending traffic to a landing page, I mean there are affiliates out there that make tens of thousands of dollars a day just by buying traffic to a landing page. That is great. I do that myself as well. I've had months where I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars by sending traffic to a simple landing page, and I talk a lot about that inside the training, but the key focus for anyone starting out is to learn the business first before you start trying to do the methods and the tactics okay so as you continue to build your business and you understand all the main components that's when you can start testing the methods out okay and I'm talking about these methods that you see everywhere you know how to get traffic to a landing page um, from certain traffic sources I do a lot of videos on methods on this YouTube channel so if you subscribe to this channel and like it and share it comment all that kind of stuff you're gonna see those methods over and over Today, let's focus on business development, okay? So the first thing we need to do, any business online focuses on a target market. So we're gonna get into niche selection now, okay? So talking about niches, um, which, where do you wanna focus your efforts? Maybe you have skills in a certain area. Maybe you have hobbies that you really like. Perhaps you want to create a training course around the job you're doing now and you wanna sell it online. Maybe you're a realtor and you wanna start um, a course about how uh, to sell houses. Whatever it is, that, that is a niche. You have an area of focus and you're trying to cater to a target audience, okay? And in the video that I'm gonna pop up right now, you'll see another video where I've done a complete webinar on niche selection. I've gone through, showed examples of where I've failed and where I've succeeded and how to choose niches. This is stuff that I use in my day-to-day -day business currently right now, so it's very legit information, okay? On that note, on the niche selection, watch that webinar. I'm not gonna get into too much about niche selection today because there's just so much information online that you can actually get for free and you can actually just watch that webinar as well okay so pick the niche find your target market now we get into the more important stuff 
is how we're going to monetize that target market. I always think that building the monetization strategy before building the website is important because you want to make sure that you have a way to monetize your target audience before you do the more tactical stuff where you're actually building it out, okay? So in the monetization strategy, I really think it's important that you diversify your monetization strategy, meaning, if you don't have a product or service right now, you need to promote affiliate products. So that means you're gonna become an affiliate marketer, which basically means you're going to be selling other people's products, okay? And that's basically what I do. I sell other people's products. There are many advantages to being an affiliate. The biggest advantage is you can diversify instantly, meaning I could be focused on one niche right now, and if something hot comes tomorrow, I could immediately switch over and start promoting that product, okay, into that niche, and just completely have the flexibility to switch niches on demand. Now, if you're a product owner and you build your own products, you are kind of focused on only being able to sell that product. If something major happens to the industry, then maybe your product isn't able to sell at that point, okay? So you're kind of stuck there. That's the beauty of being in affiliate marketing is that you can switch and diversify and do all that stuff that is important in being able to survive, okay? So I've also done another video that you'll see pop up. I talk about diversification and how this all matters and why it matters. So you'll be able to watch it. I'll pop it up there now. But in your monetization strategy, make sure you diversify. For example, let's just think about what happened with Amazon recently when Amazon dropped their rates, okay? So Amazon is a big major affiliate network that you can, you can pretty much sell anything and get a commission, okay? All of their commissions recently dropped and this made um, a lot of affiliates very unhappy and a lot of them actually went out of business because they relied solely on monetizing their traffic with Amazon affiliate offers. Some of the things you can consider when you're developing your monetization strategy is you can use AdSense. Google AdSense is a great source of income for my business. Basically, it's a code that I get from Google AdSense. You can sign up for free. I put it on my website content, and when people come to my website and visit it, they click on ads and I make money. And I also have links to different affiliate products, and as well, I build an email list. These are ways you can monetize your website traffic and not solely rely on one affiliate program or one type of traffic uh, monetization method. So the beauty with working with Google AdSense and affiliate programs also is the fact that you can pretty much find a, an affiliate product for anything out there. Any niche you pick, you can find an affiliate product for. So before you start building out your website, perhaps sign up to a few affiliate networks out there. There's ClickBank, there's CPA affiliate networks. That's another major area of focus that I do in my business. In fact, if you go to powerhouseaffiliate.com, you can see all of the training we have, not only on this type of business setup, but we also have CPA affiliate campaign examples and all of that kind of stuff. So ways to monetize differently with your website traffic. So at this point, now that you've chosen your niche, you have your monetization strategy in place, whether it be with affiliate products only or AdSense and affiliate products, or you wanna also include list building, so you have an email list, now that you have that strategy in place, it's time to actually get into the tactical setup of this. So you need to learn how to build a website. Now we've done a complete training step-by-step -step on that. If you go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan, you can get access to exactly how to set up a website within 60 minutes, okay? Now that you have your website set up, it is time to start creating content. As I spoke earlier, there are affiliates that build landing pages, they send traffic to that landing page, and they try to turn that traffic into immediate conversions. At the end of the day, they're left with no business model, but they're making a lot of money, okay? That is one strategy. It's very fast. You go in, you create your website, you create a landing page around a particular product, you blast traffic to it, and you look at the data, and then you hope that in the at the end of the day, you've made more money than what you've spent in traffic. Great idea, it works well. I'm not knocking that business model. In fact, I do it myself, but it is not really a business. It is just a method, it is a tactic of getting 
getting fast money online. If you wanna build a real business, then the other type of model that you can focus on is building a niche site, okay? And then doing content marketing. This is a more long-term strategic approach. It involves branding a website, building a following, and then in fact, at the end of the day, you own something. You own a business that is worth money, a website property that has value, okay? And once you own a website property that has value, you can sell it for 30 to 50 times what it's making every single month, okay? This is just a fact. So this is where you're getting into a more strategic approach and a long-term business model where you can actually start developing properties online, okay? So that is what we're gonna talk about here. So one thing you need to learn is how to build your website, how to set up website tracking so you can see growth month after month. You can see how many people come to your website, where they're coming from, who's converting into customers and leads, who's joining your email list, all of that. And it's so much stuff to learn that I could never put it into a little video like this. So if you want more training on that, tactical aspect, come in to Powerhouse Affiliate, take the free training course that we have inside there, powerhouseaffiliate.com, and it goes through every single step that I'm talking about here in terms of setting this up as a business model. The traffic just isn't going to come. You need a traffic strategy, okay? And this is the most important part of the entire puzzle. If you don't have traffic, you're not going to make money. Traffic equals money, and we are in the business of monetizing website traffic. So if you have have the creativity to monetize the traffic, you need the tactical know-how on how to get millions and millions of people coming to your website every single month. You can do this in a day if you want. If you have the budget, you could probably get a million clicks today or tomorrow if you had the skills to do so, okay? And that is all part of learning how to get traffic. Now there's huge platforms out there that you can buy traffic from. Um, there's just an unlimited stream of website traffic. It's all about how you base your business and how strategic you are in getting the traffic. So this is why you need a real solid traffic strategy. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend you learn free traffic strategies first. The reason for that is because you're going to understand the power of organic traffic. Organic traffic is basically traffic that is coming to your website because you're giving value. You are known to give value in your niche. You have a lot of great information and this is called content marketing. So your website needs to provide content, really, really good content around your niche. I've created a similar business just around affiliate marketing. That is the niche that I've chosen to focus on. If you go to the blog and the websites that I own, you'll see a lot of content around that. But I've also been Build other sites that aren't related to affiliate marketing and I've hired people to build content that is highly valuable people come to Google they search for information they find my website for free to me well not really free because of all the work I put into the website so it's valuable However, now that people are coming to my website, I'm not paying for those people because Google is rewarding me because I give content to the users. So this is key. If you're building a website, give really, really good content and solve people's problems in your target market. So you need to know your target market. You need to give them the information they need so that they keep continuing to come to your website. Now there's other strategies in place that you can use free that'll help you get more traffic. For example, I've created a YouTube channel and a lot of the traffic that comes and a lot of the sales that come to my products now are coming from YouTube. There's social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all of these places that are coming and going every single month, it seems, there's a new place to get traffic that you can do this for free. Build an organic following first, build content, learn the strategies, look at your data. It might not be a lot of data, you might get one or two clicks a week at first, but really you have to grind through this because this is where you're going to learn everything you need to know about building a business around monetizing website traffic. Over time, consistency, snowball effect is going to happen and you're gonna start getting more and more traffic. I've actually shown another video, if you look it uh, up above here, you'll see See that my YouTube channel took a year to get off the ground okay it's just kind of the same thing I was only doing two videos a week and over time now it's now generating some traffic it's starting to get some traction and over the coming months it's getting more exciting because now it's actually taking effect 
And if you're building a niche website around content marketing, it's probably gonna take you six to eight months to see any solid results, leading into now paid traffic. So paid traffic is a completely different beast. You can literally be set up today and you could be blasting traffic to a landing page and seeing conversions on the other end, whether you're promoting an affiliate product or you're building an email list, whatever it is you choose to do, as soon as you turn on the switch, you can start seeing traffic. That is what I love about paid traffic and that is what a lot of people who are in the business of monetizing website traffic really love about the internet because the possibilities really are endless. You could literally get millions of clicks today if you wanted and if you had the budget to do so. But how do you monetize that traffic? How do you strategically look at the data and optimize it so that you can scale it and spend on multiple different platforms? Well, that is where you really need to start focusing once you've learned the basics and once you've designed your business setup, okay? So generally what people do is they buy traffic from places like Facebook, Google search, Bing search, native ad platforms like Taboola, Outbrain, RevContent, MGID, a whole bunch of others out there, push ads, email traffic that you can buy solo ads, you can buy a, a, a blast on someone else's email list. There's just so many different places to get traffic. So when you're designing your paid traffic strategy, you should really figure out where your target market is. So for example, on Facebook, you can pretty much target anyone in the world. You can target any specific um, interest and it's probably one of the best places to start for anyone buying traffic online, assuming you are in a niche that is not already restricted on Facebook policies. For example, gambling, restricted. Aggressive diet landers and advertorials, restricted. Dating, likely not gonna work for you, okay? If you're selling any physical products, if you're doing drop shipping, sometimes that works really well, um, assuming you have a good supply chain. If you are an affiliate and you're promoting physical products, generally it works well with CPA affiliate networks. If you're promoting a product, you can usually earn 50 to $75 commission just for selling a product for $100, okay? So Facebook is a great traffic source, and. If, if you can get in there, start there. Next, we're moving into like Google search, Bing search. Really, you need to have a solid website with a lot of content to be approved on these ad networks. And the beauty is that you've already done all that work because you've done that while you were creating your free organic traffic strategy and building your website content. So you should be well ahead of the game at this point to go into these ad platforms and get your ads approved and start running paid traffic. So to get to that $100,000 mark, what would it actually actually take? Well, you would actually probably only need to have a website that's making $3,000 a month, okay? Because remember, you can sell this for 30 to 50 multiple on whatever you're pulling in every single month. So if you're making, say, $3,000 a month, which is $100 a day, it's a great goal to start at. A lot of affiliate marketers start at the $100 a day goal, and that's an exceptional goal. If you can get to $100 a day profit, you basically own a $100,000 property, assuming you're getting a lot of organic traffic traffic and you have a lot of great content that people want and you have something sellable. How do we build a sellable website? Well, one of the things I've been doing is building organic traffic, but at the same time, building an email marketing list, okay? So I'm building a list of emails. So when people come to my website, I give them something in return for their email address. And this brings up the value of your website properties drastically, and it gives you the ability to rely on a traffic source that you own, okay? We're gonna talk about owning traffic versus not owning traffic, okay? If you own the traffic, you are in a much better position to sell your business, you're in a much better position to sleep at at night because you know that you don't have to rely on an ad platform that may ban your ads tomorrow. If you own the traffic, like uh, all of the organic traffic coming to your website, you own because you created the content and Google is rewarding you for your content, that makes it valuable. If you have an email list, you can send emails to this list whenever you want and you can generate revenue. Send them to a blog post that has AdSense on it, you're gonna make money immediately, okay? You can use that money to reinvest into your business. So as a recap, if you're just starting out or 
anyone that wants to build a business, a real business online, you need to change your mindset and remember that affiliate marketing isn't the business here. We are in the business of monetizing website traffic. Whether we own the product, whether we're an affiliate marketer, whether we're using just AdSense, whether we're just building an email list and sending them to something else, it doesn't matter. We are monetizing website traffic. So get that in your mindset, set your goals, Choose a niche that you enjoy, something that has a reason to be online, why people go there. Choose a niche that you can provide value to others so that you can actually get people to come back to your website, share it on social media, whatever it is, okay? Um, come up with a monetization strategy, a diversified monetization strategy, okay? Not just one affiliate product, not just one product in general, so that you can rely on it in the future if anything happens to one particular offer or monetization method. Next, you're gonna wanna have a really professional looking uh, website with all of the tracking in place. So you need to learn about website tracking, affiliate tracking, how to track all your visitors, and you need to build some solid content every single week, okay? And I'm talking like if you can do it every single day, even better, the more content you have, the more traffic that will come back, the more people will share your content, and that is going to result and more revenue for your business and it's gonna bring the value of your business up drastically. Lastly, you need a solid traffic strategy. You should write down your, your strategy before you even get started so you know whether or not you can actually get your ads set up later if that's your future plan, okay? So when you're choosing your niche, make sure it coincides with your monetization strategy as well as your traffic strategy. Now, if you liked this video, we have a lot more training inside Powerhouse Affiliate, courses on email marketing, native ads, CPA affiliate marketing, all of that stuff. You can come in and check it out. We have a forum in there that you can discuss further if you have any questions on how to set this all up, all of the step-by-step -step procedures to get this going. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next ones.